Magab, oh boy, it's another time for another of these track by track, and I'm gonna put up the metal titans against each other. Judas Priest with Defenders of the Faith versus Iron Maiden Power Slave. Now this song, this album has one song more, so what I'm gonna do with this one is combine the last two tracks, which we all know is pretty much the same track, Heavy Duty and Defenders of the Faith, which is gonna use it as one track. I love this album, and I love this album, man. This is almost a tie. I'm more of a Judas Priest fan, but I gotta say, when it comes to these two albums, holy fuck, and I believe they're both 1984. Yes, they're both a 1984 album. So let's do this. A Judas Priest versus Iron Maiden. Big debate in the metal world, who's the better band? And those that think that, um, Maiden is better, more power to you. Hey, up the irons, dude. I'm just into Priest more. So, we got Defenders versus Power Slave. So the first track here is Free Will Burnin' versus Aces High. Motherfucker, that's a tough one. It really is tough. Um, almost a, a coin flipper, but no, no. I gotta go with the mighty priest, man. Free will burn it. Gotta go with that one. All right, Jawbreaker versus Two Minutes to Midnight. Two excellent tracks, but this one is not as hard for me as Defenders and, uh, I mean, as Free Will Burning and uh, Aces High. Not as hard. Jawbreaker, man. Fuck yeah. Goddamn song rules. Uh, Rock Hard Ride Free versus Lost for Words. The instrumental, deep track, not very, yeah. Rock Hard Ride Free. Sorry, sorry, Mighty Priest. But that song, it's good, but I really dig that instrumental. I'm giving this one a Maiden. Yep, I know a lot of you probably won't, but I will. Even some of you Maiden tards would probably go for Rock Hard Ride Free, not me. The Sentinel, oh my god. Who the, what the fuck is the Sentinel about to destroy over here? Flash of the Blade, which goddamn, that is a great track. A great track. Sentinel's phenomenal. All right, so um, we flip this album over to Love Bites versus The Duelist. Love Bites. Wow, this is pretty much a slaughter so far. Defenders got four, and Power Slave only got one. All right, uh, so we flip this album over now with Back in the Village versus Eat Me Alive. Now, here's the thing. I don't understand how people can say Back in the Village is not a good song. It's an amazing song. I love that song. It's one of my favorites on here. I've heard a lot of people complain about Back in the Village. You know, I made a, vil I made a video for back in the village on, you know, links below the phase linear. Those are all the videos I've made. And it's very hard to make a video where the band has never performed it, performed it live. You have no footage of it performing live. And if you see the video I made for back in the village, you'll see, man, it looks like they're performing it live. Pretty badass with the fan made videos, man. So I'm gonna have to give it to Eat Me Alive, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, that song rules. And, and a side note, I saw this tour, and they played the whole album except for Eat Me Alive. They did play Eat Me Alive decades later. It's on that live album. You know that Judas Priest live album that looks like the Peter Chris All For One uh, album cover? They both pretty much look the same. But man, Eat Me Alive rules. I, I even take it over this song I love so much. Okay, some heads are gonna roll versus Power Slave. Well, looks like it's not equal. <laughs> oh boy, I fucked up. Oh well. But some heads are gonna roll versus Power Slave. I'm gonna have to go with uh, Power Slave. See, I'm not that biased. And I love that some heads are gonna roll. Power Slave is fucking epic. All right, Night Comes Down versus Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. I'm gonna give it to Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. There's still a song left here, Heavy Duty and Defender of the Faith, but I can't put it up against anything here. Did I leave out a track? No, I didn't. I didn't fuck up. 
I fucked up when I thought they were the same amount of tracks. But oh well. I, I do love Heavy Duty Defender of the Faith, so it still would lose against Rhyme of the Ancient Man. Let's cheat and give another one a Power Slave, even though that one don't count. Defender's got one, two, three, four, five, and Power Slave really got three, but I just threw it another bone because Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner is so badass. So let's combine Night Comes Down and Heavy Duty in it. Rhyme still wins. There you go. I'm not biased, you know, and to tell you the truth, I don't know which album I like more, to tell you the truth. They're so close, man. I'd have to say, as far as which album's better between these two, it's a fucking tie. This is my favorite Judas, my favorite Iron Maiden album with Bruce Dickinson. Sometimes it fluctuates between Number of the Beast, even though uh, Peace of Mind is no slouch. I love Peace of Mind, but at the moment, this is my favorite one with Bruce, but the Deano years will always be my favorite. The first album is my favorite. Killers is my second favorite. Killers used to be my favorite, but am I rambling too much? Hey, the priests won, just like they do in my world. The priests is, Jesus Priest is a better band. But I did do an Iron Maiden Jesus Priest before, and it'll be up on this channel eventually, um, where, oh, well, I won't give it away. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Schmack em a gob. Hey, check out my podcast, The Vieira Vault. We're on Spreaker, we're on iTunes, and we're on YouTube. Check it out and subscribe. Hey, headbangers, you want your own radio show? Well, you got it. On Thursday nights here on that metal station, join me on the Dr. Fuck Show. Go in the chat room and I will make you my co-host. That's right. Everybody that joins me in the chat room, I discuss whatever you guys want to talk about. I'll mention your name. I'll say what you say. And we're going to go back and forth. And I'll even fucking play whatever request you want. Unless it sucks. Then I ain't playing it because my show rules. And only songs that rule is allowed right here on that metal station. The Dr. Fuck Show airs live Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. Hope to see you there. Well, no, no, fuck that hope. I better see you there, motherfucker.